Well, That's listen, incredible. get get your popcorn. We have ours because we're yep. talking classic movies. This month is Summer Under the Stars, where Turner Classic Movie hosts a movie marathon featuring a different film icon each and every day. Love this. So joining us in the studio is Dave Carter, host for Turner Classic Movies. Also a good friend, Dave. Good morning, and thanks for coming out. Yeah, it's, it's my great pleasure. to see you. It's great to meet you. Great to see you. We go way back, Chris. I'm yes. thinking 15 in, years. In now. another life. In yes. another life. In Four, another six place. Yes. I love it. I love it. And <laughs> we we're, we're brought in the popcorn special. I appreciate it. Just for you. Perfect for a TCM. So talk to us a little bit about Summer Under the Stars. It's one of the most popular things that we do on TCM every year. Our viewers love it. And for the month of August, every day is 24 hours of the same star. So we kicked it off a couple days ago with Elvis Presley. Woo! We did a Sydney Poitier day. And then later on in the month, there's a Marlon Brando day, Elizabeth Taylor, Audrey Hepburn, Gene Kelly, all of the kind of greatest hits of classic film. And it's just a really terrific way to get a crash course Right. in classic film right. because you can really study one person that you're curious about yeah. uh, if you'd like. But our viewers really love it. The other month that our viewers love is our Oscar month every February. We oh, do I 31 bet. days of okay. only Oscar nominated and Oscar winning movies. Oh, so we have it. a calendar so folks can actually see each day yes. how, it, how it's lined yeah. up. And there's now, some big names. Yeah, and yeah. obviously. But, but today we have, uh, what is it, Ruth Roman. Yes. I'm not terrible. There's the one Hitchcock film I, I yeah, I mean, something on you a train. Yeah, yeah, strangers on a train. You should not feel bad if you don't know who Ruth, Ruth Roman is. So what we do with some of the stars, the majority of them are these big iconic people, but we throw in about a half a dozen people who we've never honored before, and some oh, more okay. character like actors okay. and actresses. So Ruth Roman is this very beautiful kind of mysterious-looking actress who made a splash in the late 40s and early 50s. Mm -hmm. She was in a film called Champion, mm -hmm. opposite Kirk Douglas. But her big hit, which we're seeing on the screen right now, uh, is Strangers on a Train, where she plays the mistress of the main character, Farley Granger. And the fact that these two are having an affair kind of sets the whole plot mm -hmm. in motion. So if our people are interested in her or interested in Alfred Hitchcock movies, because he was the master he of suspense, the master, right? that one is tonight at 8 o'clock. And didn't he always have a cameo in every one of his most, films? Right? <laughs> yeah, all, most <laughs> always, yes. So yeah. he's fun to spot him. And his daughter is actually, Trisha, is actually in Strangers on a Train as well. And then oh. fast forward, Stan Lee used to have a cameo in every yes. one of yes. his films. Yeah. I live and die for Audrey Hepburn. Oh. I will often tell my family I am the Puerto Rican Audrey Hepburn, and they were like, that would require <laughs> grace, dreams, but okay. of which you have none. <laughs> Keep dreaming, please. So, so tell us, tell us about, there's more than just breakfast at Tiffany's. Of breakfast. course. Well, I know what you're doing this Saturday. Hopefully you're <laughs> sitting at home watching TCM because that's Audrey Hepburn Day. I'm hosting in the afternoon, and we're showing a couple films that she made in that take place in France. Mm -hmm. We're showing Charade, which is the one that she did mm -hmm. with Cary Grant. Yep. Really terrific. And, um, and then, of course, Roman Holiday. So usually at 8 o'clock, which is the prime time, mm -hmm. each day we do that person's big, most big iconic. One, yeah. yeah, so Roman Holiday. You know, Roman Holiday is another one of those things I hadn't seen in a long time. And then mm -hmm. my girlfriend exposed me to say, we got to watch one of these classics. Amazing how, how what a beautiful movie and how well done. Yeah. It's just, the, the movies are just, Thank like you said so before. Movie. It was her first movie. That was her first movie. That she won an Oscar for. That's the other so, thing I put in perspective. So I, I wonder, for folks who are watching, and they are not familiar with classic movies, because I think right now we're, our generation is, everything has to be fast, there has to be some massive Newness, explosion, or you know, there has to be it, it, the, the immediacy of it. Yeah. So what is it about classic movies that some of our viewers who have never seen one, what, what can really entice them? Well, I would actually argue that the fact that people are now binging a lot of TV shows at mm -hmm. home where the pace is a little bit slower. If you watch something like Severance or Ozark mm -hmm. or Blackbird, which are these great shows that are out now, no, it's not a ton is happening every five minutes like a music video or a Michael right. Bay action right. movie. Right. 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 So I think people are primed to enjoy more of a classic film. Some people are scared off by the black and white. Don't be. Don't, don't be. These yeah, are, don't need they're that. They're great, uh. timeless stories. It's very comforting to watch these movies, I find. And it's just like a glimpse at a, an age gone by. Sure. And I love All About Eve, too. That's my so favorite. if you had to pick what day on this calendar are you most excited about? Well, there's a couple. I'll make it quick. Randolph, Saturday. What's that? Saturday. Saturday Audrey, Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I'm a big fan of an actor named Randolph Scott. He was a Western star mostly in the 1950s and early 60s. He also gets my vote for best looking classic film star of all well, time. Well, He's well. the one on the left there. This is a movie called Ride the High Country. This was the last movie he ever did when he was in his 60s. Wow. Um, he was wow. best friends with Cary Grant. So I'm excited for that day. There's a Marlon Brando Day, huh? and besides showing Guys and Dolls and Streetcar mm -hmm. Named Desire, we're showing this really cool documentary called Meet Marlon Brando, where it, we with can, his voice, and we can yeah. watch him doing interviews, oh, cool. and it's really cool. He's he's very flirty with the female 
reporters and surprise, surprise. not so much with the guys. And then there's also a Gene Kelly day, okay. which, I mean, come on. I think that's a great entry mm. point for a lot of people right. because it's um, on the Gene town Kelly. and singing come in the rain. On. Yeah, We're out of time, but no Jack Lemmon or Jimmy Stewart. Come not on. this year, but okay. they've, no been, they've been before okay. and they will be again. All right. Those are my guys. Okay, good. Okay. Good I love it. <laughs> and Elizabeth Taylor. I mean, there's, there's so the list many classic actors. But check it out. Watch it. TCM. Chris, thank Dave, you so thanks much. Thanks so much. Great to see you both.